Okay, this video is going to show how we do mouse broadcasting in uh, with our one holy pally and four frost uh, death knights. So as you can see here, I have holy pally right here, level 85, four frost death knights. Um, we just looked at their gear earlier. I've got maybe one third of my gear is PvP gear. It's kind of blah. But anyway, we want to show you how to do uh, death and decays. So for example, we'll just show it in action here. Um, all relatively right on top of each other. My death knights are kind of spread out. They're not quite uh, stacked on top of each other, but um, it's really accurate, the mouse broadcasting. So let's show you how it's done. So the first step, uh, the first thing to do would be to, and we use Pwn Boxer here, um, is to enable mouse broadcasting. So make sure that this is checked, first thing. Second thing, click on it. And I would recommend using method number one. And the way method number one works is, wherever your mouse cursor is on the screen, let's, uh, let's actually look at the Pwn Boxer menu or the Pwnbox or front screen, and we're also gonna look at uh, MS Paint here. So, imagine this is my game screen number one, right, number one. And this is, we'll just look at my game screen number two, number two. Now, the way it works is, if my mouse cursor is right here, what Pwnboxer does is it calculates the ratio of X right here and Y right here, and it, pinpoints this location as a ratio, a fixed ratio, in relation to X and Y over what the actual coordinate size of this window is. And then it performs a calculation and estimates the location on window number two and three and four and whatever, five. So that way, regardless of how large your windows are, your mouse click will occur um, relatively in the same spot on all your windows. Now, the best way to do this in Pwn Boxer is enable automatic uh, small window ratios. And then when you're drawing out the location and the size of your windows, it'll automatically size it by themselves. So if you enable this and you um, were to do something like this, it'll change all your windows and make the actual mathematical ratio the same. So now that we've just messed it all up to hell here, um, let's give it a try. So we've got that set now that you understand uh, how it determines where to click the mouse on all the different game windows. We're gonna go look at the options and we're gonna show how to trigger this to actually function. All I care about when I multi-box and use my mouse is clicking on the ground to cast spells like Death and Decay and um, I don't really use my right mouse click but I have it enabled. So I use configure left mouse click, configure right, and I do left bracket and right bracket. For me, it's easy to remember left bracket and right bracket, and I've done that for years, and so that's just what I do. Um, these options down here um, don't do very much if you have a modern computer. Um, I just default to slow, but if you have a modern semi-okay computer, just leave it at slow. It doesn't really matter. And what'll happen now, keystroke for left mouse click, left bracket. So what'll happen now is wherever I have on my screen, wherever my mouse is at, so let me just use this as an example. Pretend this is my mouse cursor. If my mouse cursor is right here in my game window, my top right, if that's where my mouse cursor is and I click the left bracket key, Pwnbox will send my mouse stroke to this location on all of my windows in the relative area. So it'll do that calculation we talked about and it'll send my mouse click to all those different areas. Um, now, when we're talking death and decay, a lot of times I will run up to uh, like a group of mobs or a lot of times I do it at a node. If I'm in a battleground, I want to death and decay right on top of my face and then proceed to uh, howling blast everything into oblivion. So if that's the case, I want my mouse cursor right at the feet of my guy and then I hit zero which is my key to activate Death and Decay on all my Death Knights. And you'll notice the little cursors appear on all my guys. And then I'll move my mouse here and I'll hit that bracket key. And you'll notice all the Death and Decays all over here. And now we have actually pretty significant AOE damage. But what if you want to Death and Decay on this, uh, this little thing right here? The, um, what the hell is that called? A well. <laughs> 
What if you want a death and decay on the well? So the way you do it is you want to make sure that your all your game windows relatively look the same. They're zoomed out the same. And when I say all your game windows, I mean pretty much your uh, your slave game windows. Notice how the well is relatively in the same spot on all the windows. Um, I think if you have your camera angles and everything set to defaults, which are to follow your target to auto snap and blah, 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 all your windows, I, I believe they will always look the same every single time. One of my guys has that disabled, which is the window on the bottom. And that's because sometimes I four box instead of five box. And if I'm just controlling one DK as my main, then I'll want his mouse look to be freely open. So normally all your windows should face the same direction. And now what I do is um, notice we're all relatively in the same spot here. Um, I'll basically hit my macro or my key to activate death and decay. I'll move my mouse cursor where I want it to go in front of me and then I'll do the uh, bracket to cast uh, Death and Decay. And it looks like I cast it a little too far away. Um, just outside of the range of, I think, a couple of my guys. So let's, uh, let's try it again. Let's do a target that's a little bit closer. And uh, let's, pick, uh, let's pick this barrel right here. So we have a little bit of a cooldown. Uh, six more seconds. So we're gonna pretend that, I don't know, um, we're in an instance or something, and we're doing it in front of us. Uh, our camera angles need to uh, be proper. And remember, your camera is the key here, so you, if you're zoomed out or zoomed in or whatever, that's gonna impact where your death and decays go, or where your mouse broadcasting clicks. But anyway, so let's do it uh, slightly in front of us here. And we wanted to aim for that barrel, and it looks like we're pretty accurate here, so that's essentially how uh, mouse broadcasting goes. Um, let me show you one other instance where we use it a lot. Let's say I want to activate uh, all the same spec on all my DKs. I move my mouse over the second spec that I have, which is right here. I hit the mouse broadcasting button and notice all my DKs, all the screen went to the other spec. I'm going to do it again. Notice on the right, all the, uh, the different spec got selected. Notice that? So let's say I want to activate my alternate um, spec, all I have to do is select it, move my mouse over the activate key, all my DKs now, you can kind of see, they're all activating their second uh, talent spec. Um, if I want to make them all go uh, blood presence, I just move my mouse over it on one of my guys, click it, and now we're all blood present. But let's, uh, let's respec ourselves, let's go back to where we want, and let's click activate. Notice we're all doing that again. And we're going to make sure all of my guys are frost spec because we do tons of battlegrounds and frost is the way to go. So anyway, that's how you do mouse broadcasting in Pwn Boxer. It's super easy. Most people, when they realize how it works, are like, oh my god, this is uh, so easy. Why didn't I figure it out in the first place? But now you have a video. Now you'll be able to figure it out right away and hopefully you'll have fun owning noobs. And by the way, this video only covers method number one, mouse broadcasting. There's other ways of broadcasting mouse in Poem Box, and there's other ways to do specific areas and stuff like that. But I use method number one myself and it works pretty awesome. So hopefully you have fun.